Okay, let's record for a little bit here. We are on returning to space to bring news to Artemis. Incoming message. Um, this is recording, right? Yes. Okay, X, F. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Ask how Artemis got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in, how is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to, it is quiet at first. But it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment, a sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. Ask what is happening. They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal. Traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I, I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. I ex there are seeds of glass within their I asked for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't Sixteen, gzz, warn your face. It, gzz, please, not yet. I'm not, gzz. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contact. Okay, bring news of Artemis signal loss to NADA in space anomaly. So we do um, X. For some reason it gives me red. I may be too close to the planet. Let's move away a little bit. X, arrow over. Planetary interference. Okay. Try it again. X, F,
actually salvage data in case I stop by um shift to run quicker look for the ram up So bring news of Artemis signal loss to NADA. 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 Alright, I'll speak to NADA. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis entity's signal? I mentioned the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo, and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada. Say they did not. This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy. Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada. More puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Corvats say Didi. Nada knows better. Atla Atlas False Entity hunts Nada. But Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Speak with Polo and other life forms above the anomaly. So I speak with Specialist Polo. Boundaries are strange things, traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. I ask about portals. Just devices, traveler friend. To be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with this universe. Yes, appreciate it. Okay, and I will spend the salvage data. Shift to move quickly. Right across from NADA is uh, the construction research station. Um, I will take the cylindrical room for three salvage data. I will take the door for one. You can't get into there without the door. And... For one, I'll take the oxygen harvester for one. They're quite convenient. Oh, 
Okay, let's head out. I'm in a little bit of a rush, so... I'm not going to talk to Helios and Ayers right now to get nanites. Search for, let me escape and go in the machine, locate a hollow terminus. So C to scan. Uh, okay. On the scalding moon, lovely. will come a little short of it. What's that down there? Um, I'm not stopping. Usually the hollow the hollow uh, terminuses are easy to spot because they're so tall. Okay. Let's circle around and see if we could see this thing. That it? You see that down there? Nope, that's an observatory. Lots of stuff that would be interesting to do in another uh, episode. I may show you how to use the goggles, your scanner, to look. Usually you could see hollow terminuses from the sky. Oh well. I'm going to land near the mark. And then we'll just look. Do we have protection from heat? Did we get that? No, we didn't. So it's going to be a little bit of a problem. F.
Use E to drop a mark. Where is our mark? Is It is behind. I see it, if I can get through here, uh, whoops, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to go in these buildings first. There's usually, a lot of times, there's an easy salvage data, and I saw one as I was walking through here, so. See it? G, terrain manipulator. So we got four salvage data from that. Scan this. Apparently been here before because some of the monsters I recognize. All right, we get a Gek word. could probably use some sodium. All right, we'll Let's uh, save what we got. You can use the general upload here. Okay, I'm waiting for my bar to disappear. Now we will run, well, let's make sure we have, do we have sodium? Sodium nitrate could be used, and here's sodium. So we have plenty of sodium to refill our hazard protection. All right, let's do this. Oh, I missed the machinery there. I use shift to run a little quicker. I will add sodium when I get to the top. After I use the communicator. Okay, this will be for Apollo. E. 
Hollow terminus activated, multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a parable transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Tune to Apollo. Um, tab. Refill my hazard protection with 12 sodium. Speak to Apollo. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Greet Apollo. Identify yourself or I end this call. I say I'm a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Ask why. Uh, ask why. Why do you use that word at all, friend? It is just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Psh. Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. I upload the log. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course, drones that appear from nowhere, if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted, inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals, perhaps they're the key. Um, I would suggest that life is worth more than money. Yes, yes, probably. But if we can figure this out, we can save Artemis too. Don't fret. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners. You have to accept to go along the Artemis line. I believe. If you're going to work with me... We need to expand your base of operations. Uh, at least expanding the base will need this for, I think. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. And communication. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly. As if sighing. Saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Which is, I think, the title of this section, A Ghost in the Machine. Apollo's contact is outside the system. I'm checking out the hollow terminus to see if there's anything. I accessed the previous logs. Eh. And we don't understand, so leave. And down we go. S to go down the, the ladder. It would be W when you're going up. You know, I didn't go to that, this. But 
32 nanites. Okay, and I will save this now. Thank you for watching.